analysis. Welcome on in. Uh, I don't know if I would say they ignore it. There's a... Oh, oh, no creature attack. Um, Landing flag. Emergency speed. Yeah, no, they definitely don't ignore the uh, Cyclops. Excessive weapons. Crap. Crap. Crap, crap. Warning. Engine overheat ahead standard. Wait, what? Pet? What? Are you... Oh my god. Ten, nine, eight. Here it comes. It's coming from the building. Change course. Set thrusters to full. That's just fireworks, right? Damn it! <sighs> so none shall pass. Ah, a red herring passed. I don't know about you. Myself, I'm not expecting this to all be over until about 18 months from now. Maybe 17 now. we are going to have to go for the silly death obviously open machine climb in machine well roger it certainly appears as though you're about to become all washed up What? Open machine? Oh my god! <laughs> ah. oh, you picked a very good time to show up again, Uthgur. Thank you. geared for that. Oh! Oh god! No! Oh! <laughs> 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 
wooden barracks constructed in Mayo. I would normally want to build wooden barracks in the earth rather than in mayonnaise, but, you know, construction techniques were a little more primitive back then. You gotta make allowances. Oh, it's enormous. But where have the books gone? Whoa! <laughs> okay. That didn't help as much as I was hoping it might. <laughs> well, <laughs> that was awkwardly placed. What are you doing up there? Oh, you're trying to... Let's see what happens when he tries to light it. <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing! <laughs> I didn't know that was what they trapped it with! <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Damn. <laughs> uh -huh. The Carlos, you fucker. In all the worst places, there are mushrooms. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> what? Who designed this vessel? Crap, he has a bad motivator. What? Bespar Essence Dedok Swords Dwarf has been found dead completely drained of blood? Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. What? Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. That's amazing. Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. What the hell? Oh my... That had to have been the forged. That's so annoying. So, the missing handle was booby-trapped? What did you do? Well, I used my cleverness to outsmart the trap. <laughs> then I use my cleverness to hide. Ferengi pack lead. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome back to the Library of Lore. Hey. How's it going, Aaron Lore? Please enjoy your lurk. I hope you and everyone else is having a fantastic day today. We are going to continue with Baldur's Gate 3 today. So let me just switch over. There we go. And I guess it would probably help if I had the game as well. I had just about everything ready to go except for Steam. So let's get the game going. Now, if I remember correctly, when we left off, we had gotten to the point where we had completed the Druid quest line and saved the Grove, 
and we had just been given our reward, which was access to a secret chamber filled with stuff. The only thing is, we didn't have time to actually loot the stuff. So now we get to finally see what it is that we can collect. So I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be a lot of fun. And then we'll figure out where we're going. We might dip our toes into the Underdark a little bit, because I don't want to deal with the spiders. And I figure the Underdark is probably a good place to work up a little bit more XP. And hopefully get us up to the level 5 range. Because we've still got a little ways to go before we get there, if I remember correctly. We'll have to check our XP when we get there. Characters are starting to diverge a little bit in the amount of XP that they've got. So we're going to have to... you know probably look at all of them because I know my character was dead at the end of a significant fight and so didn't get any experience for that which kind of sucks but you know what can you do okay let's carry on Okay, ah, uh, yes, here we are. Right off the bat, I see we've got a book. That's always good news. These boots have seen everything. What is this? Secret Societies of the Sword Coast Exposed. <clears throat> Harpers. The most well-known of the Sword Coast's cabals, perhaps, but per certainly not benign in its shrouded doings. My sources claim that those belonging to this mysterious faction abhor power, but if that is so, why do they not expose the revelations of their inquiries for the public good? Why indeed? Because knowledge is power, and the Harpers intend to keep both for themselves. Shadow Druids. Weigh the life of a man against that of a sapling oak. Which do you value more highly? Ask a Shadow Druid the selfsame question and be shocked by their answer. This dangerous group utterly disregards intelligence life in intelligent life in favor of the life of plants and insects. Their perversion of the natural order leads them to plan and execute plots so dastardly that the mere description of one would leave you glancing sideways at your begonias. The Order of Clerd. The least known and accordingly most dangerous of the secret societies I have researched is the Order of Clerd. My sources tell me this shadowy conspiracy of murderers, mutilators, and tyrants regularly meet to plan the demise of any number of innocent citizens of our fair land. What's more, they like it. Dark Justi Justicars. I shudder even to inscribe their name upon the purity of this page. I shall leave it at this. They worship Shar. Okay, we clearly need this book. Wyvern Toxin, Simple Toxin, Poison Resistance, Antidote. Oh, Greater Healing. Excellent. Animal Speaking. Nice. Hold Person, Animal Friendship. Excellent. What's in here? Okay. A lot of these containers don't actually contain anything, which is slightly disappointing. <clears throat> to 10 damage, slashing damage, sorrowful lash, which does 3 to 6 damage, pulls the creature 3 meters closer to you, the target can't be pulled if it is huge in size, 
Requires an attack roll, 9 meter range, usable per turn, bonus action. For every drop of blood spilled, a piece of the soul perishes until nothing remains but regret. And it's got extra reach, actually. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's take that. The glaive the druid's notebook mentioned. Its owner thought it was cursed. Jade Robe of Summer. Grants resistance to cold damage. This robe's thin fabric is pleasantly warm to the touch. Okay. I mean, that's not bad. It's not bad. We got some fairly decent stuff there. We can't go down there, huh? No? Okay, fine. There's nothing hidden back here. Oh, druid note. Hang on, I missed that. Better not be cursed. The Emerald Enclave won't send help, even if I ask. This land is wounded and the rot is deep, but it's deep everywhere. I can't wait for help to come, but perhaps I need not face the darkness alone. Okay, no secret passages out that we've detected. And no secret rolls, either. Fine. Okay, let's see. Send that back to camp. Actually, I think we're going to do a few things with camp right now. Queen Thestral, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Oh my god. Baldur's Gate 3 is ridiculously good. How are you doing? It's really good to see you. I absolutely adore this game. It is so fantastic. I'm going to send that to camp. Is that a... No, that's not a Gale-worthy item. Okay, so let's send that to camp as well. Amulet of Saloon is cho chosen. It'd be funny to make Shadowheart wear that one. The gems and pearls of this necklace have a brilliant shine to them as if reflecting unseen moonlight. Hey, Ansara, what's going on? Doing great. Also enjoying it so much. How far in are you, out of curiosity? Not spoilery, of course. Drow's letter. Did we read the Drow's letter? Track the druid. Find whatever burrow he runs to and report back to me. Remember, you are only a scout. Do not engage. Do not kill anyone. Simply observe and return. Okay, so we already killed her. So I'll send that back to camp as well. Um, letter to Kaga. That's our new book. I think I'm going to give this to Karlak. Boots of Striding. While you are concentrating, you can't get knocked prone or be moved against your will. Shadowheart might benefit from those. 
Faith Breaker. Warhammer, versatile. That sounds like a Karlak weapon. Needle of the Outlaw Rogue. Well, that sounds like an Asterian weapon, but we're not really using Asterian. Just started Act 2. I'm kind of jealous. I have to stop watching um, Ash Monster's playthrough because she just got to Act 2 last night as well. Minthara's at ease clothing. Okay, that helps. You're pretty close to Act 2 yourself, you think, finally? I, it's not so much that I'm really in a rush. Oh, Halson's Journal. Notes on Drow Parasite. Yeah, I'm, it's not that I'm in a rush. It's just that not being that far myself means that it's awkward for me to watch friends who are playing the game because I don't want to spoil the later acts. Like, the last thing I want to do is actually get a look at Baldur's Gate before I get there myself. I've been watching people play a lot as well. I go back and forth from playing and watching. Very cool. A parasite brimming with magic. Take it. Extraordinary happenings. While meditating in the forest, Nettie and I were ambushed by a pack of goblins led by a drow. We had no choice but to defend ourselves. But that is not the extraordinary, or rather disturbing, part. On the drow's death, a parasitic creature emerged from the corpse and attempted to escape. I managed to capture it and have the host's cadaver here in my study. I've told no one of my fears. Nettie suspects, but knows better than to ask. I will investigate further before informing the others. Kaga will demand answers I don't yet have. I had better record any further findings in a separate volume and keep them upon my person, lest prying eyes jump to the wrong conclusions. Okay, we're taking the note. And that note. And the book. Halson's Pipe. Why not? Oh, there's the specimen. Bottled tentacles. Bottled blooms, bottled eye, bottled blooms. Okay. So that looks like most of the stuff. Where's the interface that allows you... Oh, it's here. Never mind. I got it. Illithid powers... Channel the dark allure of the tadpole to charm an enemy that attacks you, preventing it from preventing them from attacking you until their next turn. Perilous stakes. Invest a creature with power that heals it when it attacks, but also makes it vulnerable to all damage. Doesn't provoke opportunity attacks. See, I'm not sure I love most of these abilities. Do I have to take them? I'm going to take the charm. The streaming effects is funny. I feel compelled to try to stay ahead of you and Greeny, at least so that I can actually hang out and not be spoiled. Yeah. I feel the same compulsion, except that I'm limited in my ability to actually do it, is the problem. 
Now, wasn't there some puzzle we were working on? Oh, actually, that was the puzzle that led us into that special room, isn't it? My battle fit in my pack. Suspension of Bullywug Trumpet. Okay, I think what we're going to do is we're going to head back out and go to the vendor. What is that? Healed bird? Oh. How do we get out of here? That would be this way. I actually kind of thought I was going to feel a lot more pressure to get ahead and be done with Act 1 than I really do. I mean, I do feel a bit of pressure to get there because I want to see the new stuff. Even though Act 1 is still actually full of new stuff anyway. But, I mean, it's just been so much fun. I haven't really been able to force the issue. Okay, here we are. Now, let's go back to camp. I want to test something. I realize you can't fast travel when you are overburdened. But this is a restriction that we have to push. So where's all of our weapons? Heavily encumbered. So can we actually go? We can go. That's awesome. Okay. It'll take a while for us all to recover. But you've helped us take the first step. Of course. What the heck? Will it let me do it if I... You can't multi-select in a vendor screen? That's... Uh, what? May you keep balance. I've been collecting for a while, Anstara. I think what I'm gonna have to do is use a workaround. Maybe not that one. There we go. It'll take a while for us all to recover, but you've helped us take the first step. Yeah, that's exactly what I did, Anstara. Of course. It's just weird that you can't do that. <laughs> I ha wow, okay, maybe I hoarded a little too much. This is what I warned you about the other day. Yeah, you're 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 right. You are right. Okay, Carlac, what kind of armor are you we're in here. Oak Father's Embrace. She's a barbarian, though. She can use better armor than this, right? Shadow Heart, what have you got? Chain Shirt, plus one, 14 AC. 
We could get our full chain mail. May you keep balance. Oh, there is another merchant. Okay. Oh, and actually, come to think of it, there's another character in here we need to talk to, if I'm not mistaken. Dexterity is only 13. She gets a plus one, so we don't have to worry too terribly much. Why is she not using her fancy shield I gave her? She can't send them to purity. That's funny. Luke AV, welcome on in. Let's see. The blacksmith must be down here somewhere, right? Maybe. Where would the blacksmith be, actually? The Hellion's Heart. Oh, okay, so we do need to talk to him. It doesn't look like much of a blacksmith shop. You'd expect them to have more than just a campfire, but okay. Let's see what I can glean. Thought I sensed an infernal around here. But you aren't from Elterel. What's your story? Hey, I remember you. The weaponsmith, right? Your city was swallowed up by Avernus. And you were enlisted against your will like my good self. I thought they had you for keeps. Glad you got out. I got lucky. It looks like you did too. And you brought some infernal machinery with you. A little gift from Zariel. Keeps me burning hot. Very hot by the smell of it. Might be burning out a piston ring or leaking oil. Mind if I take a listen? Be my guest. But don't get too close, or your eyes will melt shut. <laughs> you, you really are burning up. Whoever put that engine together tried to house metallurgized demono valves inside a Ragnax alloy casement. Very risky. I might be able to help, but I'd need infernal iron. And a prayer that my hammer will survive the work. Will you be able to turn down the temperature a little? Worried I'm gonna go in for a handshake and singe someone's arm off one of these days. I'd worry about yourself first. That thing isn't meant to operate outside of Ernest. I'm not sure how much longer it'll keep running, the way it's going. I'll see what I can do to give you more time, if you find some infernal iron. But a machine... That complicated is going to need serious work. More than a pauper's forge can handle. Hmm. I think I picked up some of that infernal iron already. Can we at least see what you can do? Please let this work. Hmm. The weight of it. And that blaze of chaos. Can't imagine this where my heart should be. Must be quite the experience. So I hear, Unstara, they released a video showcasing a little of that. I think... There. You'll have to install it, I'm afraid. 
I don't think there are thick enough gloves in all the realms to protect from that kind of heat. <laughs> I love how they don't show it. That feels... Good. I'm still burning hot as hell's hole, but I feel less... Changeable. Cheers, mate. Pleasure. Gives new meaning and to keep the, the helmet things, on. I haven't got any solutions now, but I'm not giving up. Could be if the combustion chamber had its own insulation, or if we had some kind of enchanted coolant. Find me again in Baldur's Gate. If I'm worth my salt, I'll have figured something out by then. Take care, Karlak. And hopefully the next time I see you, I'll have something promising to report. Pocket any infernal iron you find along the way, hmm? Okay. I miss my forge. So he's a character we see again in Baldur's Gate. That's good to know. No one stopped me yet. If not over, then through. All right, let's see what else this guy's got going on. So you said he's constantly looking for his good tools, huh? You saved us. I wasn't sure we'd make it through. I wish I had better, but this is all I have. 753 gold, okay. Insufficient gold. Okay. Well, we're going to have to do it the slow way then. Chain mail plus one. Ring mail. Scale mail plus one. So what's that? 12. 18. Oof. Heavy crossbow plus one. Flail plus one. He's got some decent stuff. Great club. Light crossbow. Arrow of darkness. Prevent your target from regaining hit points? Oh, man. Yeah, he's got some nice nifty things. I'm just going to put all this over here, and then I'm going to take enchanted items to make up whatever difference there is. Not all bartering has to be for gold. In fact, normally it wouldn't be. Oh, he's pretty close to the amount of gold. That's not that far off. 861 to 753. That'll work. We can make this work. Okay, so first of all, I want this chainmail plus one. That'll probably, yeah, that's 598 right there. So let's... There. 
That'll do it. I think Shadowheart's gonna take the chain. Make Tamora's luck twist your way. Okay, where did the ah? There it is. So let's send that to Shadowheart. There we go. And that we can probably sell back. Along with these. Zionide. Once per short rest, you can encase a target in fairy fire for two turns if you miss an attack against it. This is a better mace than she's using. Let's equip this. There we go. Let's move. No, oh, hey, whoa. Excuse me, sir. Who do I pray to for a real forge? Maradin? He probably wouldn't listen to me. Moradin? I've never heard it pronounced that way before. Isn't it Moradin? I wish I had better, but this is all I have. Alright, well, let's see here. Chain shirt can go. Well, to, um, I kind of think I should keep the wood woad shield. What else was I going to get rid of? She had a mace. Ditch that. I was going to get rid of the boots of striding. There we go. May Tamora's luck twist your way. Thank you, sir. Okay, now, let's sort. Got almost 2,000 gold. Not bad. So Luna's chosen. Can go to camp. Vision of the Absolute. Coralon's Grace. Amulet of Lost Voices. I'm using that. Haven't found much in the way of enchanted rings yet. Is that something any of you have found in your playthroughs? Needle of the Outlaw Rogue. I'm going to send that to camp too. You've got a bunch of rings now. They start showing up. No cloaks or belts yet. Interesting. I really like this new armor we've got for her. I kind of miss the red robes, but this looks very paladin-y to me. She's using a normal short bow. I think we can do better than this. Who do I pray to for a real forge? Maradin? He probably wouldn't listen to me. I remember in older CRPGs you couldn't walk ten feet without tripping over a cloak of resistance plus one. You're not wrong. I wish I had better, but this is all I have. Okay, we want bows. Hunting short bow is probably a step up. Or I could go the crossbow route.
Oh, interesting though. The hunting shortbow gives you hunter's mark. So what does that do? Five to ten damage. Five to fourteen damage. I'm actually gonna stick with the short bow, I think. Let's do that. Maybe I'll just grab the other crossbows as well because I can afford it. Make Tamora's luck twist your way. That way I keep my options open. I think I was going to give the heavier crossbow to um, Karlak. Making me sweat. Yeah, she's using a light crossbow. She can definitely use a heavy crossbow plus one. There we go. What's she currently using? She's using the Sword of Justice. It's a great sword. All right. Who do I pray to for a real forge? Maradin? He probably wouldn't listen to me. I wish I had better, but this is all I have. And uh, small plus one, two to twelve. A weapon of dwarven make, elegant but strong enough to last several human lifetimes. Main hand only, tenacity. When you miss an attack, you deal one bludgeoning damage anyway. That's actually kind of cool. I like that. Great club. You use that mall for a while? I don't blame you. It looks pretty neat. You know what? We've got extra coin. Why not just get the things? May Tamora's luck twist your way. Okay, so... Karlak. I don't know that Gale necessarily needs a crossbow. Probably not. Blazer of Benevolence. When did I get this? Remedial Rhymes. When you inspire an al... Oh, okay. We should... Um, we should send that to camp, I think. Maybe I'll send that to camp as well. I don't know that I'm going to necessarily need it right away. What's the story? 2 to 12... Six to fifteen. Seven to seventeen. Okay, I think we know which one we're using. I don't blame you for using that. That's pretty cool. Line breaker boots. Yep, she definitely wants that.
There we go. Let's call that good for now. We can always come back later and gear up again. Damon's upgrade didn't cool me down, but it did juice me up. I don't think I've ever felt more powerful. Let's find some evil for you to smack then. Bring it on. I like her eyes. Her eyes are awesome. Okay, so that was our business in the grove for the moment. Where else do we need to go? Wasn't there a bunch of, like, secret basement areas in the Blighted Village that we need to explore one of these days? Goblin Camp, find the Night Song. I never did find the Night Song. No, I didn't do the whole goblin camp. We sort of noped out before we had to do the massive battle. We're probably better equipped to do the massive battle right now. Let's see if we can go and take on a little bit of that. Is this, this is the wrong way. We want to go this way. trying to go oh this way right okay Tonberry how's it going it's good to see you Was dealing with constant crash issues after the patch early this week that was supposed to fix crashing. Ironic. Spent a day troubleshooting, found out I could just play in full screen and it's fine. You'd better make that to Guts memory, guys. I hate to tell you this, but she's no longer with you. Whoops. Oh, are they not hostile? Never mind. Yes, they are. Okay. We have worn out our welcome officially then. Luck of the Far Realms. Oh, wow. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's fun. Rude. Excuse me. Oh my god! Okay, let's try the new bow. 
Okay. Well, you can't win them all. Rude. Okay, why am I the only one in this combat? Excuse me. What the heck? Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Boom. Still breathing, despite everything. And now we get to loot the place. Those are explosive. Probably should have taken advantage of those, but that's okay. Speak with Dead Scrolls, gold, crude mace, scrap wood shield, dragon egg mushroom, yum. I'm glad you've got your game working, Tonberry. I know how frustrating it is. I know Greeny was having some problems with the stability of the game as well after the most recent patch. He seems to have gotten it taken care of as well, which is really good. You want peace? I will give you eternal peace, sir. Free for the taking. Mm, actually, I can shoot again. Hey. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, look at that, Ansara. We were just talking about this. Crusher's ring. Though caked with mud and grime, the ring smells faintly of lavender. Remarkable, considering where it's been. And it, that gives you faster movement speed, which is great for a monk. We just won't think about where it's been. Slightly drunk, Grat the traitor. Oh, let's try not to kill the traitor if we can avoid it. Oh, the iron is hot. Crush the 
There doesn't seem to be as many of them. This is a much more manageable number. Shadowheart. What? Oh, I. Oh, shoot. Okay. Come on. Can't stay idle. I shouldn't have sent the enchanted crossbow back to camp. I didn't realize she was still using a regular one. Or did I send it back? Do we still have it? No, I sent it. Damn it. Okay. I'll have to fix that. Reckless. There we go. Oh, shoot. Maybe we should have rested before I came here. That would probably have helped. Well, that's okay. If I can't do Cloud of Daggers, I can still do a big grease pedal. Okay. Oh, crap. She has no healing abilities. Damn it. killed the spell. Oh well. Hexed wisdom? Rude. I agree. Unfortunately, I don't know what I can do about it. Torment. 
All right, guys. Uh, two and a half minute warning. Oh, he saved? That's so rude. I really screwed myself over not resting before this battle. That was kind of silly. Oh, he fell. That's hilarious. I love it. Backbreaker. Now let's just do a main hand attack. <laughs> oh god um Carlax looking a bit like a pin cushion oh god oh boy Arrest them. Oh my god. Come on. This is going really well. However, oh boy. Okay, let's just see how this goes. Okay, it's about time for me to take that break. I'm going to make some more coffee if you need to get some food or drinks or snacks. Now's a good time to do it. I'll meet you back here in just a few. Back. Hey, oh, you are in my backyard here, sir. Dead. Oh, I got the mandibles. Rengi pack lead, my god. Seriously, you can be pack lead? Rigelian, Sarian, Tellarite, Trill, Vulcan, and Alien. Wait, what? Alien, as opposed to. <laughs> Let's see if I can stay alive on a scooter with no auto drive. Whoops. Whoop. The answer is no. So the captain really just uh, is basically in charge of the lights then is what I'm gathering. Oh, 
Oh, what's this giant thing? I realize that doesn't really narrow it down any. Oh. What's that giant thing? What the hell? Sorry, dude. Because you were us. I picked us. <laughs> Hi. This can't be the original entry room, can it? That's what I was just thinking, Greeny. This looks completely different. The lighting is so different. This is that trap room, isn't it? Where the gas comes out and everything's really dangerous. Oh my god. The lighting makes such a huge difference. Holy crap, it looks so different. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Ah, do no. Hey, whoa. Rude. I'm blowing you up, not the other way. Ow. Damn it. Whoa. We are on track to try and find the Death Star. Grand Mock Tarkin will be outraged. Someone has stolen precious data from inside the Grand Moffis. <laughs> <laughs> the Grand Moffis, I love it. That's right, it's called the Grand Moffis. Now, don't just stand there looking at me. Go retrieve those stolen plans. The thief led in an ATST, so get moving. What? What? Bessmar S's Dadoke? Sword's Dwarf has been found dead, completely drained of blood? Whoa! That's a big bear. That hardly touched it. Okay, I am back. And yeah, I actually kind of think... I'm as guilty of this as everyone else, but I kind of think fighters are a bit of an underrated class in D&D, just in general. Everyone thinks they're really basic, but I don't know that that's actually true.
fencing up. That's so rude. Critical hit. And okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Oop. Shadowheart, it's all up to you now. Thank you, Aaron Lore. Bonk. Not bad. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Let's maybe approach. Oh, my. Oh, no. <laughs> well, that sucks. <sighs> at least now we have a template for what we're going to do for the next hour which means I can probably do it in a lot less than an hour I know for example we don't have to search this entire room we just have to grab all the stuff here we go so we read that Pick that up. Grab that. Grab that. Grab all that. Light on my feet. That was not what I had in mind. Grab the that. The druid's notebook mentioned. Its owner thought it was cursed. Okay. So grab that. Robe of Summer. And that was about it. So we can just get the heck out of here. Now there was some stuff here. Hastily written note. I don't remember if we read that already, but we're gonna take it. A parasite brimming with magic. Take I trust it. you with the circlet to open the library where it always if you need to enter the vault, talk to Wrath. He has the rune, but won't give it to anyone, so be sure you have good reason to ask. Etc. etc. So we're gonna pick that up. We're gonna grab that. Which I missed last time, actually.
Okay. Oh, we haven't talked to Ab. We haven't talked to her. It's gonna feel so empty now. Very well. Blessed day. I was worried I'd never see Master Halson again. You kept your word. Thank you. You're just lucky I didn't swig that poison. I don't know if I can ever restore Sylvanus's peace to this place. But I'll have the chance. Thanks to you. Oh, what is this? Pouch, huh? A plain leather bag cinched at the top with a knotted cord. Red apple and mugwort. Just send some of this stuff back to camp. The thing that annoys me is we had even we went back to camp to get all those weapons and I did not take advantage and actually do the rest thing. So I think we're going to have to make sure we do that. Send that to camp. That was going to go to Carlac. I think we can actually sell the Sparkle Hands. Faith Breaker, that goes to Carlac. Woodwode Shield. Not sure about some of this stuff. Like, we might sell some of it. Better to Kaga, can go back to camp. Okay. Okay, now before we do any of this, we're going to we're gonna do a heckin' long rest is what we're gonna do. We are not going back to that freaking goblin camp without a long rest. Oh my god, what the heck is going on? Why is the camp so full? Patience? Have you no respect for showmanship? Having performance issues, Roland. <laughs> Hush you. And behold. Oh, I like the new die. 
That was the light blue on the purple. Adoring applause? You're too kind. Remember when he could barely cast that? They grow up so fast. <laughs> Never have I met such troglodytes. Now, pass the wine. Okay, this is cool. Celebrating with the tieflings. I love it. I need to dance. No. No, I need to lie down. <laughs> Harry. That's infernal for cheers. Or possibly turnip. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, we've got Volo in the camp. We still got Volo in the camp. Ah, oh, there you are. Come now, settle in. I do hope you have partaken of something bracing. This may well take us all night. And by this, you mean? Why, your naming, quite obviously. That ballad was but a crude preview, a frame without its crowning jewel. Your nom de guerre. Something iconic, but not too much of a mouthful. We don't want to exclude the common folk, after all. I intend this tale to enrapture all. What about Grovekeeper? Goblin's Bane has a nice ring to it. You have something in mind. Far too much. This is the very problem. If you could set aside your many triumphs, carry out one defining act, not to belittle your achievements to date, of course, but besting a dragon, a giant, a god, perhaps. Hmm. I must deliberate. Go, enjoy your evening. I shall have work for you in the days to come. <laughs> okay, Mr. Volo. Okay. Halson, we haven't talked to you yet. Go on now. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow. I thought you might care to have a drink with me. Take your own advice, why don't you? Go on, mingle a little. Later, perhaps. Don't worry about me. <sighs> a night under the stars amidst nature's creation is just what I need after being locked up in the goblin's dungeon. Go on, enjoy yourself. Seek out some wine before it runs dry. There are a lot of thirsty people around here. You don't say. That is what I hear about this game. You have no idea how good it feels to see these people smiling. The singing we could probably do without, but even so, thank you. Hope you're enjoying the night, hero. I certainly am. Cheers to many more like this. All right, looks like Asteria needs to talk for the first time in a good while. You know, I never pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast for saving so many lives. And now that I'm here... I hate it. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> you did a good thing. Suck it up and enjoy yourself. Enjoy myself. There's a worm in my brain. I'm surrounded by idiots, and all I've got to drink is wine that tastes like vinegar. Relax. All your problems will still be there in the morning. True, the goblins would have thrown a wilder party. That means I have to survive tonight. And this party. All I want is a little fun. Is that so much to ask? That had better not mean I want to kill something. Not at all. I was hoping for companionship. And, well, maybe a little death. Figuratively speaking. And not with you, just to be clear. I mean, can you imagine? <laughs> Ugh, 
Wow. Anyway, don't let me keep you. I'm sure you have someone else to sniff around. Wow, Astarian. Rude. Okay, Karlak, what's going on? Would you look at this place? All these people happy because of us. It's nice to be somewhere where good is still possible. And with good potations, too. Did you have parties like this in Avernus? Let's not dwell on Avernus. Enjoy yourself tonight. You too, soldier. Enjoy yourself tonight. You've earned it. All right, let's check in with Shadowheart. She might not need to talk, but we should keep the lines of communication open. Everyone seems to be in high spirits. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? Asterion? Let me guess, yourself. I think you'll find I've been showing ample concern for myself since the moment we met. I mean... Desperate people, like those refugees, never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. Not so odd. We did the right thing. That's more easily said by some than others. But nobody's here to debate right from wrong. Share a bottle with me? I'd be glad to. We should wait a little while. Until the others have drifted off. I'll find you after everyone's turned in for the night. Not keen on sharing with the others. Not tonight. Okay. Think of it. No more cave. No more tents, no more running away. We'll be in a city with roads and markets and homes. Look at them all. Guzzling poison like we've the right to be happy. We survived. That's always worth celebrating. You, oh, Charisma, you should join them. Have a pint or two. I think that'll do. Hmm. Perhaps it'll make the evening more tolerable. There you go. That's what we aim for. Tolerable evenings. Okay, now. The purpose we came here for. Let's grab all of our stuff and then rest. Can't pick up too heavy. Okay, so I guess there are kind of some limits after all. I guess I could take everything in the chest. Alright, well, that'll have to do. To sell it, Greeny. I'm gonna sell a bunch of it. You made it. Come here. Sit with me.
someone's enthusiastic. Maybe I should have brought a barrel. I was hoping for a toast. Any suggestions? How are you doing, Greeny? It's good to see you. To survival. Very practical. We could have toasted to that every night so far. Here's to many more. Survival. Now tell me something about yourself. And no tadpoles, dragons, marauding goblins, or anything like that. Something about you. Share a memory from growing up in Baldur's Gate. Seems like you truly know the city. I never got to explore it to my liking. Don't stop now. Not just as things are getting interesting. Waking up, wishing I could just shake this cough. Yeah, I hate it when they linger like that. I've occasionally had it for like a month or two at a time. Hopefully it doesn't last anywhere near that long for you. Your turn. I insist. A little give and take is only fair. Heavily encumbered. Oh, you... But, mm. No, okay. Shadowheart remains an enigma. No, nah, I'm going to keep my inspiration. Oh, and what else do you find to be fair? Smile and say nothing. Ah, I see. Think I can't get you to confess. I'm something of an expert. There's still plenty of wine, and the whole night is ahead of us. That is a cool scene. I like that. Nearly light. The others will be awake soon. We should get back then. I suppose so. Celebration's over. Time to pick up the trail again. Thank you for last night. It was just what I needed. She trails off. You read an invitation in her eyes. Man, I'm trying not to romance anybody, and yet this game... You know, if you want something, I think you should take it. And that did not... Okay, over. Well, I guess we're kind of semi-romancing Shadowheart. That didn't hurt, did it? The pain was worth it. Good to know. For the future. Let's head back. If we must. That's almost a Kaiden situation. It's hard to avoid the romance. I trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done, and I promised I would help you however I could. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's complicated. The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous, though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. We get a cure, and the chance to hit these assholes where they live. Sounds good. What's so dangerous about it? To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, 
tormented, dangerous souls. Sounds like I've no choice. I need to find a way through. What do you suggest? You could go overland, along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorn built a secret stronghold deep down there, before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias, Shah worshippers. Dark Justicias? I must see for myself. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. Mm. I never thought I'd say this, but it sounds like the Underdark is the safer route. Anything is preferable to risking the Shadow Curse. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. How do I find this passage through the Underdark? You'll need to pick it up where Aradin left off. Find the hidden entrance. It's somewhere in the Temple of Saluna. You want to come to Moonrise as well. Why? Unfinished business. And a lifetime of regret to repair. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thorm and his Dark Justicias years ago. But I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. I spent years researching the curse, trying to put an end to it. Nothing has worked. Yet, if I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse. Same as you may find a cure for your infection. So he would be the first member of the party without a tadpole, which is interesting. Is that why you went with Eredin? You thought he might uncover this route to Moonrise? Precisely. Then perhaps I could have done something about both the Shadow Curse and Ceramorphosis aberrations. But in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aradin and his band. We didn't even get close. Let's go then. Oh, what about the Grove? I've chosen a successor as First Druid, Francesca of the High Forest. A bird's already been dispatched to summon her. I'll trust your judgment. I'm glad you approve. I do not truly care if you approve, but I am glad. The group <laughs> needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oak Father's teachings without bias. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the grove in my absence. Very shrewd of you. Contrary to how some think of us, we druids can play politics when necessary. Now, <laughs> we've quite the journey ahead. Let's get started. I think it's almost time for us to redo our party composition. We're going to have to invite Gale to stay behind. If I can find Gale. Where are you, sir? Gale? Excuse me? Where'd you go? Hello? Oh, he was, <laughs> he was walking back. Get it. I get it. So I think we're going to take Will instead of Gale, and we That's might actually... Troop, we're not short on drama. I'm glad Shadowheart and Lazel settled their differences peacefully. Eventually. I never realized it was so easy to cast magic. I assure you it's not. Don't get me wrong, you did well. The somatic component, the verbal component, even the focus on the inner self that invites Mistra in. 
But I was still your conduit. To perform such a feat alone requires much and arduous study. Of course, as a paladin, your patron deity endows you with many such powers otherwise unattainable. I do hope you cherish that gift. I was wondering about that mighty lord you told me about in your story. Ah, oh, yes. Carsus. Carsus oh, I'll check Shadow Heart's approval in a moment. Wizard that ever lived. The child who would be a god, the elves called him. And he tried. With a spell of his own devising, he endeavored to usurp in one fell swoop the power of the goddess of magic. Mistril, she was called then. Imagine what it must have felt like. To be a god. To know yourself, to be untouchable. To be mistaken. As Carsus aimed his spell at her, she began to unravel. And with her, the entire weave. Too late did he realize what he had unleashed. It would have been the end of everything had not Mistril sacrificed herself. The goddess of magic is all magic. By dying, the entire weave was lost, and the spell that challenged a god failed. It was the end of Mistral, the end of Carsus, and the end of an entire civilization. As the child who would be a god was turned to stone, his empire came crashing down around him. The floating cities of Netheril were no more, an event that came to be known as Carsus's folly. So, at that moment in time, all magic was gone? For a spell. Mistral was reborn as Mistra. Upon her return, the weave returned with her. Now, so many centuries later, I try to follow in the footsteps of Carsus. Not to destroy Mistra, but to prove my love for her. I tried to control only a fraction of the magic that was unleashed that fateful day. I merely sought to return one tiny diamond to an imperfect crown. Gale's folly, one might call it. History. Repetition. It's the way things go. If you ever feel the Netherese magic overtaking you, what will you do? If it should ever come to that, if I ever know I am no longer able to stop it, I will do anything I can to ensure no one but me pays for my mistakes. I will find the remotest place on the surface of Faerun, or perhaps far below in the depths of the Underdark. I will await that death alone. I promise I will not betray your trust. You kept me by your side despite the menace that I am. If worse comes to worst, I will be long gone before the curtain falls. What do you make of having a vampire in our camp? I know what it is to hunger. And I know what it takes to keep that hunger under control. He's done that so far, despite his condition. So long as he sates his appetite elsewhere, I'm happy to give him the benefit of the doubt. Okay. I need you to remain in camp. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be here in the meantime, idling away the hours. Okay. Approval with Shadowheart. Oh, yeah, it is climbing up to a little bit more positive now. You never got that scene with Shadowheart despite her being fairly high approval. See, that's... I kind of loved knowing that kind of thing because it really speaks to the replayability of the game. It makes me wonder what kinds of scenes neither of us have maybe ever encountered before. Uh, okay, I do want to keep Shadowheart with us, but we need to get rid of Carlac. Let's see what I can glean. And you still haven't done Very the Goblin Camp. Nice. Settle things without letting any blood. I would have enjoyed the spectacle, but not losing either one of those lunatics. Old Rusty. Sure. I'm going to end my fling with Lazel and see what happens with others. Nice. How did you end up with such a contraption in your chest? The year, ten air. The place, sleepy little town called Baldur's Gate. Our hero, 
Karlak, a not need delinquent from the outer city, with everything to give and nothing to lose. I was a kid looking for a way to fill my days and make some cash when I fell into the wrong crowd. Worked for a guy I respected. A lot. Turns out the feeling wasn't mutual. Through the jigs and the reels, he made a deal with Zariel behind my back. You know Zariel, right? Archdevil of Avernus. She put this thing in my chest and set me to work. Well, to war. I learned quick how to stay alive. And the engine served me when it came to killing devils. Ten years of that. The stories I could tell. Like, some people have got the druid to join their party here, but others sometimes later. Yeah, actually, I know that Ash Monster got to... I don't know how far she got, but she had just gotten to uh, Act 2 last night when I had to stop watching her stream because of it. And she was still waiting for Helsin to join up. You mentioned a boss who gave you up to Zariel. Who was it? Guy named Gortash. Politician inventor one of these wheeler dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie i guess i was naive to think everything he got up to was above board what did i know i saw a job a good job with people i liked doing work i was good at sometimes i'm jealous of that girl oh to feel so invincible again How are you doing, Slice One? It's good to see you, by the way. In your expert opinion, what's the best way to kill a devil? Depends on the type. Ice devils hate an inferno, but that's an easy one. Orthons love projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right back in their faces. <laughs> Demons, on the other hand, every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've got them typed out. Sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive him. <laughs> anyway, what were we talking about? Killing. Of course. Now that those paladins are out of your way, what's next on your agenda? First things first, I need to get this engine tuned up. Thing's powerful, but it's been feeling volatile ever since I left the hells. Can't be too hard to find an infernal mechanic around here, right? <laughs> One on every corner, practically. This isn't where I thought I'd end up. How about you? <laughs> Funny you should ask. I was just thinking about what would have become of us without that Nautiloid. I mean, I know where I'd be. Trapped in Avernus still, with the Blade of Frontiers on my tail. But what about you? I'd be in the middle of another adventure, blessedly free of any tadpole. I can picture you getting mixed up in some outrageous shit. Giants, beholders, <laughs> Thayans, the works. Maybe once we've wrapped up the current shenanigans, we'll rest a bit and find some new heap of troubles to throw ourselves at. We had better. I want Baldur's Gate 4. Oh, I, yeah, yeah I actually what had meant work? to ask her to stay behind. Hey, soldier. You'll need to stay behind in camp for now. Oh, come on. You don't mean that. Only temporarily. Oh, fine. I'll be here eating dirt or whatever. <laughs> well, I'm assuming, you know, we'll get 10 or 20 years of expansions for Baldur's Gate 3 and then we can have four. Oh, wait just one moment. We appear to be missing somebody. Will? What the heck?
probably in like 20 years. Honestly, I think that's a realistic estimate. I'm hoping that with the huge success of this game that they will make more. I think they actually want to make Divinity Original Sin 3 before they work on another Baldur's Gate. But hopefully that doesn't preclude making Baldur's Gate expansion material. Okay, I had really planned on taking Will with us. It would appear that maybe he has other plans, though. So I guess we're going to have to take Gale back again. Go ahead. I'm listening. I changed my mind. With pleasure. Lead on. Uh, I don't know, Anstara. He does not appear to be in camp at the moment, so I can't tell whether he wants to talk. No, that was not him by the water, I don't believe. That's old Withers right there. And this is my hireling. Oh. Actually, you are correct. That was him there. What are you doing over there, Will? Sorry, Gail. I changed my mind again. How can I help? I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be here in the meantime. Idling away the hours. I hope that's the end of this silly quarrel. They'll have no energy for battling our enemies if Lazel and Shadowheart are too busy squabbling among themselves. Um, okay, but I really wanted to actually talk about something else. Well, then. Tell me, Will, how did you come to be the Blade of Frontiers? My father once said, one does not pursue a champion's life. One merely answers its call. So it was for me. I was hunting near the cloakwood when I heard it. A child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields flanked by goblins. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. I don't remember much of the battle, but I remember drying the boy's tears after. What act could be finer than saving a life? You must have felt proud. Proud? No. Angry. Angry at the monsters preying on innocence. Angry at the so-called good gods for tolerating the cruelty of the evil. Angry at myself that it took so long for me to see the coast suffering. The frontiers demanded a blade. And so I heeded. It's fine. nice to finally put a face to the name. And it's nice to meet someone of your talents. Having a worm wriggling in my skull didn't instill much confidence in the days ahead. With you as my ally, the future looks a little less daunting. I'd like you to join me. That's the spirit. Level 4 Warlock. Okay. Bone chill, friends. Let's go Mage Hand. I've been hearing that Mage Hand is a ridiculously powerful ability in this game, and I have not used it even once, so I would like to experiment a little bit with it. I know we have another character that's got it too, but I mean, hey, if it's that ridiculously useful, then how can you go wrong? Mirror image is good. Let's see. Blindness. Cloud of daggers. I have definitely noticed that that one is really nice to have. I haven't either, Anstara. I'm very curious. 
okay, we are not going to change anything. And we do get our feet. I did see an enemy attack it so it can tank briefly. Advantage on perception checks made to detect hidden objects and on saving throws made to avoid or resist traps. That could actually be really good. Constitution increases by one. Lucky. You gain three luck points, which you can use to gain advantage on attack rolls, ability checks, or saving throws, or to make an enemy re-roll their attack rolls. You gain armor proficiency with medium armor and shields, and your strength or dexterity increases by 1 to a max of 20. Gain proficiency in three skills of your choice. Five minute warning, guys. We'll do that. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. So that's Will. And now I would like to take Halson. Have to keep going. Father's blessings to you. I have to ask, how do you know so much about the parasite? I studied one up close. Closer than most would care to be to those things. A drow attacked me and I defended myself. Afterwards, I was able to examine the tadpole that emerged. Hideous, but fascinating. Like nothing else in nature, I'm glad to say. What about this secret stronghold in the Underdark? Precious little. But I'm quite certain it can still be found. Aradim was convinced there was a hidden entrance in the Temple of Saluna. I'd start there. It seems like you feel responsible for this shadow curse somehow. Well, there's hardly anyone left to share the responsibility with. Few who witnessed the fall of Moonrise still draw breath. What Ketherick Thorm unleashed is not something that nature can undo by itself. I must do what I can. I studied the Shadow Curse for years, but to truly understand it and stop it, I must reach its source. Do you know how the Shadow Curse can be stopped? Perhaps, but we'll need to get closer before I can put my theory into practice. Put it from your mind for now. Once we near the curse, then there will be more to be said. All right, sounds good. Um, can oh, can I wait? Can I not invite him to come along? How are you faring out here at the camp? <laughs> Wonderfully. If I'm honest, the grove was too comfortable for my tastes. I felt removed from nature. I'll miss my books. But I can find all the wisdom they contain out here, first-hand. You'll find plenty of books before long. I keep coming across them everywhere. Is that so? <laughs> well, nature does abhor waste. I will keep watch. Thank you. I had a feeling time in your company would prove fruitful. Um... Uh... 
At the celebration with the tieflings before, I hope I didn't come over too strong, got caught up in the moment. Mm -hmm. There are few things that are too strong for me. And cast those regrets aside. You did not get caught up in the moment. You seized it. In other circumstances, I would have done the same. I'm glad I didn't leave a bad impression then. A bad impression? <laughs> Impossible. Okay. It's about time for that break, so if you guys need to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack, now's a real good time to do it, and I'll meet you back here shortly. Construct and interact with a castle heart. Bend your territory by placing borders. Oh my god. I've been running around this whole place and this is all that I've seen. Barbane Waygate. Um That's a freaking huge map. <laughs> what is this? She's ignoring it. <laughs> didn't work so well. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. Uh... <laughs> um... That's not good. <laughs> we will have a nice new feature in town soon, it's true. Achievement unlocked. It's heading right for us. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Well, you weren't kidding. That is actually a pretty attractive crater. Not bad. <laughs> oh my god. I love it. Multi kill. <laughs> Gen 4. Come to circle around the island here because I need a boat to get to the neighboring island anyway, which I think is close enough that you can use these smaller ones. Or I could just go on foot and see if there's another boat I can use. <laughs> World of Wonders. We did it, guys. We made it to WoW in the 80s. You have no idea. I do. A good one. But it works. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh. Uh. I have to leave him here. gonna get shot to death if I don't.
Okay, I am back. So, apparently we cannot get Halson into the party. We just have him in camp. Which means, I guess, we can take one of the others. We haven't traveled with Lysel for a while. Who did we ask to leave? We asked Karlak to leave. Actually, let's get Asterion. I think we've got some gear that works well with him. Thank you, Aranor. Thought Shadow Heart and Lazel might fight for death over that artifact. A pity. It would have made for a fine night's entertainment. Wow. What do you think is waiting for us at Moonrise Towers? Who knows? Drow? Mind flayers? Death? Hopefully not ours. But maybe answers. If we can convince the right people. I need you in my party. Will you travel with us? Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. Okay. Oh, and now we get to level him. Subclass features gained a spell. New feet available. Color spray, Tasha's hideous laughter, or sleep. I might go color spray. Might be useful with that goblin encounter coming up. Okay, so he gets plus three to dex checks. Let's make that four. And then we'll bump up his wisdom. And maybe he won't be such a jerk. Okay, um, let's see, that doesn't look quite right, oh, that looks better, Watch except back. I think yes, it's a Starion that we need, because we've got some gear that he's going to want to get. Needle of the Outlaw Rogue. I want him to have that. He should also have the Bicorn. What does Asterion have? So he wears padded armor. We can do better than that. We're going to have to shop for him, though. Gloves of Heroism. That's more of a paladin thing. Yeah, we're gonna have to do some shopping. He does have Spell Thief, though. That's a pretty decent bow. So he's good there, and he's got a dagger plus one.
Actually, I guess there's no reason I can't just have him take a whole crap load of stuff that we can sell. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. It suits him so well. Alright, Will, you are up next. We need to get you your hat, if it'll still fit on your head. And we should also see what he's using. So he also uses padded armor. Interesting. I guess he's a warlock, so he can't really use the heavy stuff. really not a lot we can do with him. We have to shop for him and for Asterion. Okay. I think that'll about do it. Have a lot on my mind. And well, in it. It'll take a while for us all to recover. But you've helped us take the first step. Want to trade? Okay, we have to do that thing again. Six forty nine this time, so he doesn't have quite as much gold. Take the Hedge Wanderer, the Gloves of Missile Snaring. Uh, we'll take that Scale Mail, Chain Mail plus one we wanted. Padded Armor plus one will be good for Asterion or for... Um, or for Will. I have to figure out which. Grab the Leather Armor plus one as well. Oh my god. Okay, we're not going to get all of that. Well, maybe we will. I guess it's going to depend on what all of this sells for. I think we can afford it. We have quite a bit of gold. Yeah, we can definitely get it.
Well, if the druids need to set up any kind of an armory, they are going to be well and truly set. Now, did we have anything else magical we could get rid of? I don't want to get rid of the Gloves of the Growling Underdog, although I don't know when I'm going to expect to actually see that. Boots of Striding. I was going to give those to Shadowheart, I think. Robe of Summer, we can get rid of that. I'm going to keep the Woodwode Shield in case that's useful for Halson. Sorrow. That's the Glaive. Ooh, Sorrowful Lash. Maybe we'll keep that. The Sparkle Hands. Right, I was going to get rid of that one too. Okay. This will give us a chance to grab some of that money back again. Oh. Oh, what was that? No, just padded armor. Okay. Broken padded armor. Sword, dagger. Let's not get rid of the thieves' tools. Oh, he has a soul coin. Maybe we should give all the soul coins to Karlak. Okay, that's 500. There we go. May you keep balance. Thank you. That goes back to camp. That goes to me. Wait, too heavy? How am I still too heavy? What the heck? Oh, I just bought a bunch of heavy armor, didn't I? <laughs> I guess that would probably do it. Uh, okay, so that goes to Shadowheart. The Hedge Wanderer armor, I guess we can send that back to camp for now. Leather armor will give to Will. I think he can use that. Padded armor can go to Asterion. Scale mail plus one. Uh, maybe that should go to Shadowheart as well. Missile snaring she'll keep. Growling underdog. Chainmail plus one or scale mail. No, she's definitely taking the... Yeah, equip that. Equip 
that. Wait, I had a shield, didn't I? Yeah, Shadowheart can use that for now. What am I to do? Equip it. And send that to camp. Okay, so she's set, and now we can go to the other merchant, and we can get that whole conversation with him out of the way, and then I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna quick save right now, and then we'll do a proper save after we're done. I go. Oh! Well, he's still useful. Okay, we can't do the Carlac interaction, because we don't have her in the party now. Wow. I'm sure you would. Okay, where was the hat we got for Will? I completely forgot we still needed Carlac in the party. And it looks like we really need Carlac in the party because it uh, would appear that we do not actually have the trader. Can he, he can equip this, right? Yes. Okay, so that helps him. And he's extra stealthy. So let's send that back to camp. Oh, he took stuff too. Oh, he can wear it over the horns. That's awesome. Okay. Where is he? That's annoying. Alright, we might have to come back and do that later. For now, I think we're good. Um, I don't want to put off the battle any further. We've been doing character maintenance, inventory management crap for a long time now. wonder what happens if we just teleport directly into the goblin camp. I just saved. Let's try it. Instant initiative. Spend six meters of your movement speed for the rest of your turn. Roll range damage twice and use the highest result. Luck of the Far Realms. When you make a successful attack roll against a foe, you can change that hit into a critical hit. Can I reach him? No. Bonk him on the head. I'm not certain I've actually got the, um, you know, the warlock's ability to mark a target. I don't think I've got that on Will. Wait, is this... That's No, that's a level 2 warlock spell slot. Let's not do that. Can't reach. Let's fix that. Dark One's Blessing. Still breathing. Oh, shoot. They brought more people into the battle. Um, 
Okay, well. Do we not have any missile weapons on him? Oh, well, I mean... He's a warlock. He doesn't need a bow. Okay, Asterion, where are you? You're over here. She's over here. There we go. I'm kind of regretting starting this because we got a lot of our good armor and weapons from the other vendor that wasn't there. Eldritch Blast. is interrupted. Somebody's sleeping around here. This is no time... Oh, it's them up there. This is no time for napping. Can we not? No time to waste. Oh crap! <laughs> Damn it! I think I just alerted the entire camp. This might have been an error. I probably should have come the forward way. dare you. Oh, and it's Gale that's able to put water out. Or put fire out, rather. Making it worse for yourself. Oh, shoot. That was... Oh. That was dumb. So how's everyone doing today? How's your own game of Baldur's Gate going if you are playing? And if you are not playing, how tempted are you getting to give it a try yourself? Hellish Rebuke.
Piercing strike. Can't shoot him. Ah. Oof, not fun. Can't reach. Survival is all that matters. Why can't Shadowheart use any of? Oh crap! I. Ugh. It's her armor. Okay. So I completely screwed myself over. I don't think I've got a choice. We need to reload that, because that armor thing, that's a killer. That's really terrible. I thought she could get away with using it. Turns out, not so much. And I also think we're going to come by the forward bridge. And I've also gotten my own character into the worst position. She's having to rely on missile attacks instead of being in the thick of the fighting where she really belongs. Yeah, I saw that before Stream Greenie. That's pretty wild. I like that more than 90% of players are make are using custom characters instead of the origin characters. Wait a minute, why are we suddenly in this camp? Oh, this is, no, never mind, this is not camp. Okay, let's go to camp. We are really quickly going to take uh, Burning Lady back. Well met. Wait in camp for now. Sure? The blade stands at the ready. Yeah, temporarily. And we just, just need Karlak for a little while. It'll be fine. 
Uh, that's Hysteria, and we need Karlak. Hey, soldier. What's up? Come with me. Hell yes. I went back to the goblin camp, and I discovered I'd made a number of errors. So we're going to correct some of that. Okay, he's here now. Or, wait a minute, no, he's not here. Why is he not here? So, hey, we've got this soul coin, right? Thing is, I think I can use it. My engine can, anyway. Zariel used to top me up every now and again when she wanted me to go after an especially wicked target. Aren't you afraid this is going to overload your engine? Nah, it'll be fine. Got a coin slot in your heart or what? Sort of. Next time we find ourselves toe-to-toe -to -toe with something we want to squash, drop a coin in. See what happens. Intriguing. Next time we're in battle, we'll be sure you get one. Fuck yes. Now I just need something to sink my teeth into. Okay. Our smith guy doesn't appear to be here, but that's okay, because speaking of soul coins, thanks to Nabi, I know where to get another one. So let's get Karlak here. laughing curse, have you? I really made it out of Avernus. Right. Just keep it down. We're conspicuous enough without your hyena call. Wow. Let people enjoy things, Asterion. Come on. The tieflings are gone now that you've killed the goblin leaders and had the party. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, wait a minute. You mean he's not going to be back? Oh, that's very unfortunate. I was kind of counting on getting certain items from his wares. That sucks. Oh, well, that's okay. We'll meet up with him in Baldur's Gate. Okay. We got the coin. Shoot. Well, do you know of any other merchants on the map? I mean, obviously, uh, anti-ethyl is not an option anymore. We've still got, what's his name, in the Druid Grove. Oh! You know what we do need? We need to get Will back, so we're going to go back. Uh, since we apparently don't really need Karlak anymore, we can just send her back again. I never got the dog. All right. What now? Okay, well, we'll be heading to the Underdark soon thought. enough. We have to finish the goblin fight first, though. You and Mazora seem to know each other. We were both part of Zariel's inner circle. Her by choice, me by force. In the grand scheme of things, I'm inconsequential to Zariel. Sure, I've got the engine, but I wasn't even her strongest fighter. She favored me like a child favors a captive pet. Mizora envied the attention, I suppose. I'm sure when Zariel gave her the order to hunt me down, Mizora was delighted. I can see why you're so keen to escape. No kidding. The fighting, the chaos, the betrayal. <laughs> it had the makings of a good stage show. Ooh, that's but a I good point, Greeny. To be one of the players. Do you think she'll keep coming after you? I don't know. You think she'd have more important things to do? Devils and their pride. Really? Really, really? Yes, really. I'm afraid so. Oh, fine. I'll be here eating dirt or whatever. 
Oh, that's annoying, though. That's very annoying. Oh, well. Come on, Will. Something's on my mind. He does say, hey, I'll see well, you in Baldur's Gate. Yeah, I remember. I remember. That's the spirit. Okay, come on, guys. Killed a few giant bats in my day, Astaria. But never hunted a vampire. Just to remind you, I'm merely a spawn. It won't count. But if you want a true vampire, I'm happy to recommend one. <laughs> oh, what do we have hiding back here? A book escaped my attention? Inconceivable. A pleasurable deal. This is an excerpt from the play A Pleasurable Deal, banned in no fewer than four cities for its lewd content. Its scandalous nature led to a number of widely distributed and illicit printings. We've already got that, but that's okay. I'm going to take it anyway. No book left behind. Okay, we need to get back to the goblin camp. Actually, we need to get back to the blighted village. as any bustling street uh where are we going we want to go that away but think of the stories you'll be able to tell on my way Okay, uh, now, how do we do this? Blade Ward, Arms of Hadar, Armor of Agathes, Pact of the Blade, Cloud of Daggers, Mage Hand, Bind Pact Weapon. There we go. Now, how long does it last? Until long rest. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I'm afraid you'll have to content yourself with vagrant chickens. Keep moving, stranger. Quietly. No, it's a little slow in this area. What happened here? I told, I told you, you to, to go. go. Ooh, it's very slow. That's weird. It's run so well everywhere else. You see a name etched into the leather. Scratch. You're Scratch, aren't you? Come here. It's all right. You know my name. Interesting. A predator wouldn't care to learn it. Still, you should go. My friend is injured. He needs rest. Yeah, he's going to be resting a very long time, I'm afraid. I don't think he's going to wake up. Of course he will. And then we'll return home. 
What happened to your friend exactly? We were attacked. We're cackling furry things on two legs. And their smell, it was strange, rotten, evil. You know the creatures he describes. Knolls. You can travel with me if you like. No, I won't leave him. If he doesn't wake up, follow my scent. I have a camp. If it comes to that, I may. Thank you. Okay, that should be good enough. And for Scratch's sake, we won't loot the corpse. Yet. And now the game is running fine. It's just right specifically in that exact location. That's kind of weird. Okay. This better be good. Oh, wait a minute. Cave mouth? How do we get down here? I don't remember this. Or do I? Actually, do I? That's the owl bear cave? You're kidding me. Or is it? That can't be. I'm quick saving. It is. Okay. Let's see. How did I not realize that's just right there? That's really weird. I've been to both spots, up here and down there, so many times that I just never quite connected them in my head. I'll fit in there. Alright, well, we gotta go back through again. The other thing we need to do, uh, where are we? Oh, we're very close to digging level 5. Hmm, okay. Oh, and now the game is going slow on me again. I do miss the gate, though. The Elf Song Tavern, Sunset Over Grey Harbor, Fry. Young Patriarchs, Nature of the Sound. Oh. Hmm. 
is it? Well, we have a break coming up in about 10 minutes. I might see if I can update the game after that. Do they have patch notes? Do we know what they're going to be uh, fixing with it? I love that they're releasing them so quickly. Two hundred things, but there are a lot of spoiler tags in there too. Okay, well, I would prefer not to know about the spoiler tagged ones, but that is still very good news overall. Oh, we already we loaded him or looted him rather. Permanently adding a new set of dice to use. Where is it that you go to edit your dice options? Hmm. When you're doing a dice roll? Well, we're going to be getting into a battle in just a moment, so... That won't be a problem. Oh, shoot, I forgot to. Damn it! <laughs> I'm ready. I forgot to swap out her armor again. Medium armor, medium armor. Oh, there we go. Okay. Never mind. At least this is a much smaller battle. Not enough movement. It's weird to me that as a cleric, she's not proficient with medium armor. No, Will is still hidden. We can fix that, though. She's using medium armor in my game, and she is not happy about it. Damn it, stay healthy, but I put you on the excluded list. You should not be showing up there. I apologize, guys. I finally got around to fixing it, and it didn't fix it. No, 
Okay. Let's finish this. Five minute warning. Now, when you were leveling Shadowheart up, did you at any point give her the medium armor feat, perhaps? Because that would certainly allow her to make use of it. Or it's possible you're higher level than I am and she just automatically gains the ability later on. Okay. That is heavy armor. Okay. Well, let's go with this then. Looking at the extension right now, yeah. My mistake. But now we've got that sorted out. Oh, I just notice he's peeing. Excuse me? He didn't notice? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Uh, that's a little weird. I do. I do indeed. She's a paladin monk. She's given to boldness. Okay. First part done. And Crusher's Ring. A 
On a melee hit, possibly inflict a minus one die four penalty to the target's attack rolls and saving throws. Not to me. Well, the flavor text doesn't really count, but we'll examine it in more detail. Uh, if you guys need to get up and grab some food or drink or snacks, I need to take a break right now. We'll investigate the, uh, the gloves in just a few minutes. Oh, you're one of ours. Never mind. Sorry about that. Not bad. <laughs> oh my god. I love it. What? You're kidding me. Wow. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. So, you got that job as a janitor after all. <laughs> I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. You fight like a dairy farmer. I am rubber. You are glue. Got I that. give up. You win. Yes. Uh oh. Oh. This is why we save. In RimWorld. So, yeah, we're struggling a bit. Oh my... Oh my god. You'd think they'd be suspicious of a little flying helicopter like this buzzing around. Really? Personal guarantee here that you will not regret. Oh my god, that fox just got nailed. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Out of the way, mission. There we go. The only companionship I have on all of Dantooine. You live alone with this droid. He is a personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Wow, she really misses her droid, doesn't she? <laughs> I know, I know. I just, I often forget, but I do know. Thank you. Of course, sir. I wasn't talking to you. Well, who else could you be talking to? Should I be concerned about your mental well-being, Commander? We have relatively limited storage. And, um... We have 394 branches. That kind of sounds like a lot of branches. It had not occurred to me 
that branches are going to be the bulk of our firewood over the winter. I probably ought to kill that guy. Where are you? Oh. I'm curious to see where it's going to dump my ship after I do this. Oh, God. Oh, what did you... Are you freaking serious, game? What the hell? It... <laughs> What? What is that? Oh my god. Oh crap. <laughs> you really do only have one eye. Oh, my eye. Give it to me. Give it to me, and I won't kill Marcos for having you steal it. Give it to me. You want it? <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh my god. Let's go there. It's no. No. What? What do you what? BB, what the hell? Oh, look at this. Okay, here's your Jeffrey's tubes. That's hilarious. I love it. Cecil has become a paladin. I'm sure this is nothing to be concerned about at all. Because we are going to have to go for the silly death, obviously. Open machine. Climb in machine. Well, Roger, it certainly appears as though you're about to become all washed up. <laughs> Wait, what? Open machine? Oh my god! <laughs> Ooh, okay. Not today. So, this is a colossal size map, which is quite a bit larger than the largest available in the base game. And it is a an island plate style, so it's kind of like 
tectonic plates that are generated as smaller islands instead of giant continents. That looks good to me, sir. There were two? Rude. Ow. Fine. Bone hammer it is. Oh god, this is so slow. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's rude. Oh god. Okay, I am back. You didn't do art? What do you mean, Greedy? And Nabi, how are you doing? It's so good to see you. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah oh. Okay. Never mind. A uh, little confusion back here. Okay, let's get to the bottom of these gloves. Gloves of power equipped Absolute Spain on a melee hit possibly inflict a minus one to four penalty to the target's attack rolls and saving throws, sleight of hand plus one. Blessed by Priestess Gut, these gauntlets provide additional aid to any who bear the Absolute's mark upon their flesh. Okay, interesting. Um... So, what happens when I equip them? Absolutes... Uh, no. Absolutes Bane it does not affect me. It affects my target. I've never had any problems with these equipped. I've been wearing them for most of the playthrough. Let's take a short rest. Oh, just a brief respite. It's a hidden curse. It's not much of a curse if you can just take them off. I mean, I've got other gloves. I could use the gloves of missile snaring. Or growling the underdog. Well, if, if you think they're bad, it may be something that's changed since early access, but I've had zero problem with them. She's been kicking butt, even while wearing them. If the wearer does not have the brand of the Absolute, Absolute's Bane cannot activate. Oh, well, in that case, I might as well send them back to camp, because we do not have the mark of the Absolute, or the brand of the Absolute. And I don't plan on getting it. So that's good to know. I guess that's a bit more player friendly. Well, it certainly hasn't been cursing me even if it hasn't been doing me any favors either. So I'll just use, what did I equip? Gloves of the Growling Underdog for now. I mean, this is probably not a bad time to use it anyway. Still would get the sleight of hand bonus. Yeah, but she doesn't really do that. I mean, actually, I suppose that's still not true. She does actually when Asterion's not in the party, she is my primary lock picker. 
So I guess it's been helping me in ways I didn't really recognize. I think I do have these. Intercept missiles from ranged weapon attacks, reducing their damage. Yeah. Okay, we'll give that a try. She's been deflecting a lot of missiles lately. All right, Asterion. Nice. Let's back up some. Well, too late. Okay. I targeted myself by accident at one point last night and those gloves negated damage. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. But also incredibly convenient. Well, I mean, I can't yet. It's not my turn yet. I'll have to wait till it is. Oh, there we go. See? Nothing to worry about. We're here now. They're there. They're doing things. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to update the game. Yeah, but until it was Asterion's turn, if they had remained hidden, I would not have been able to have them enter the combat until it became Asterion's turn. Oh, I think... yeah. I canceled out of it. Let's do that. We are kicking butt this time. Shark, thank you so much for your uh, prime sub. I really appreciate that. Much like in Divinity Original 2, if you'd selected one of your out-of-combat characters, you get to control them in... Oh, that's a good point. You are correct. You are very correct. How's it going, Shark? I hope you're doing well.
we are just absolutely murdering everything. Okay, uh, we can't use that anymore. I don't think anybody's in range of that. Wode's ensnaring strike. Your attack summons thorny vines that possibly ensnare your target. Um... So much has happened, the car is fixed. Oh, that's awesome to hear. Making strides to buy your first house. Holy crap, that's amazing. Congratulations. Yeah, nothing's in range. Okay, we'll just have to hole up here. Asterion. You are just barely in range, aren't you, sir? And your final test to be a nationally certified pharmacy tech is on the 25th. I will keep my fingers crossed for you. That's incredible. It sounds like things are going really well right now. Really glad to hear it. Asterion, could you maybe try not dying? That would be great. Now, is this the one that's nearly dead? Yes. That was not the butt kicking for goodness that I was expecting. Why does she still have penalties to hit? She is wearing the medium armor, correct? Scale mail plus one? Yes. What's her dexterity bonus? She only gets plus one to dexterity, so we're okay there. So glad you're on today so I can share with you. I appreciate it. Speaking of being on, I'm not going to be doing a bonus stream tonight, but I'm thinking tomorrow night I might do some Tears of the Kingdom. I don't know if it's likely to return to our regularly scheduled daytime streams, but I would... Can we... Wait a minute. Will, can you move a little bit closer? Path is interrupted. How about if we just jump a little bit over here? Getting there. Oh, right into the cloud. Hellish rebuke. A 
Asterion. Nineteen. Nine. Will, if you could maybe not die, that would be great. Okay, I think it's time for us to... Oh. What do you mean, can't reach? Oh, God. Okay, fine. Miss rude. Take two. This is my time. Dead. Uh, okay, who else? Will, you can, oh, Will can take his turn now. That's a good thing. I... rats. I was going to set up another cloud of daggers, but I guess that's not a thing that's going to happen right now. Let's clear the way a little bit for the others. Actually, we've got a warlock sitting up on top of the tower. Can we nail you? Path is interrupted some of the time. Love your patience at your pharmacy, but feel retail is very limiting and more profit metrics driven than you agree with. Mm. I keep forgetting that I made Asterion a spellcaster. Must have advantage against target, okay. Well, let's just do our regular attack then. Oh, I have a choice now. Missile snaring. Reduce damage from a ranged weapon by 1 die 10 plus your dax modifier. Or, see, this is maybe why I shouldn't bother with the gloves of missile snaring, because I don't need to snare them if I can just deflect them back. Boom. So I might switch over to those underdog gloves again or something. I don't know. And dead. At the ready.
All right, well, start moving up. Outside normal range. Let's have you move up some too. A better position. Not enough movement. Okay. And done! That went so much better this time. <laughs> they don't do much for a monk, alas, yeah. I can see how they would be really, really useful for another class, and maybe I should just give them to another character, like maybe Will or Shadowheart. I think we're going to send these to actually Shadowheart, because Shadowheart... I like... The idea of her being a little more tanky. Yeah, that was your first mistake. Now, did I already send the other gloves back to camp? I probably did. No, I didn't. Never mind. There we go. Three hundred and three gold? Damn. We've had boss chests with less than that. Ooh, there was a note in there. Dwarf's Poem. A son of Saluna fell here in the dark below, and we sealed his grave in her holy glow. May the full moon never touch the stars once more. May darkness never conquer the moon maiden's door. A note is scrawled in the margins. Found the door under the temple. Think the moon's turn, but which way? A cluster of stars and lunar phases are sketched beneath. That's the puzzle I was remembering the other day. Okay. I'm gonna keep that one. New, two new journal pages are available. Uh, travel through the mountain pass. Halson told us there is a way to Moonrise Towers through a mountain pass, but that it may be dangerous. A room in the old temple of Saluna contains a secret entrance to the Underdark. Through it, we can reach Moonrise Towers. Okay, and that was totally worth killing everything here, because we're that much closer to level 5 now, which is very exciting. Wait, who are you? We're not done yet? Okay, fine, fair enough. We'll take advantage of the break and just get in a little bit of a short rest. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Oh, and maybe before we enter visual range and begin combat, let's just send that crap to camp. Hand drum. That can also go to camp. And lock in our progress. Maybe even a long term care facility have lost all but one grandparent and elderly aunts and uncles in the last two years, and you feel a gravitation towards that. That's really cool.
Rude. Okay. We have a flute. Oh, I'm still overburdened. What the heck? Thescan Anthology of Goblin Poetry. Also can confirm the hot fix that just went out. Fixed the crash problems you were having. Oh, that's awesome. Did the goblin merchant leave a lot of stuff after you killed him? You see all the red stuff? Okay. That's a lot of stuff indeed. Don't worry. You don't need to worry about me uh, not looting stuff. Well, don't worry. If that's not the stuff, then I will also get that too. This is me you're talking about, after all. That was not where I wanted you to go. Oh, but I guess that's where you needed to go. Roasted dwarf leg? What? Creepy. Dwarf ribs? First of all, that's way too big to be a dwarf. Okay. If you were wondering if it's ethical to kill the goblins. Uh, Gorko is his name. He would never poison you unless you gave him a really good reason to do so. Alchemist fire. Might have to do some alchemy if I can. I don't know that there's a whole lot I can actually do. Never trust someone as dexterous as I am, Anista always says. 
I think, well, most people are afraid of Gatlin. Let's be fair. Four new recipes unlocked. Elixir of Bloodlust. heavy is that? That's not too bad. That can go to camp. Those can go to Asterian. I still think we're not done. Because that wisdom. Brock isn't, as Aaron Lar and I have discussed, Brock is likely the one of the few that can actually see what's going on with Caitlyn. Just don't be a monster. You're not wrong. Uh, what have I got that's so heavy? We can send this pouch back, it's empty. Oh my god, I've got multiple camp supply packs. Okay, what's in this one? Oh, Jesus, this one. This is where all the heaviness is. There we go. Okay. Where's all this stuff? Dagger root. Well, we will investigate thoroughly. Ah. I think we found it. As well, add it to wares. Fire ember and gold. <laughs> the mortal view eyewitness accounts of the Balls Bond crisis. Missives of Candlekeep. The Purged Palette Midwinter Edition. Uh, 
Okay. Um... We wanted to keep the dwarf's poem. There we go. Off to work. Thank you very much, Greeny. It's always a pleasure to see you, and I will catch you again soon. Yeah, we still got guys over here. Okay. Interesting. Will is not in combat yet. Let's fix that. Oh, nope. Never mind. Will actually is in combat. Okay, we're fine. We're good. We're all good here. I'll strike you down. What? Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't notice they did grease. That's so irritating. Okay, Shadowheart. I don't suppose we can aim at this person. Wode's ensnaring strike. Uh, it's a melee attack now. Can't even catch my breath. Oh, she killed him. Impressive. Okay. Not in. Oh, my God. Okay.
Jim, thank you so much for 32 heckin' months. It's amazing. How are you today, sir? Guys, if you do not know Jim Oh, Racer, hello there. <laughs> if you do not know Jim Racer, please make sure you go give him a follow. He's an awesome streamer and friend of the channel, and you will not regret the time you spend with him. He tends to play a lot of sci-fi games and a lot of racing games, and has an amazing driving rig for when he's doing racing games. It's really something to see. So let me just pause here and get you some shout outs. Oh, thank you, Aaronlar. I appreciate that. How goes the gate that belongs to Baldur? Uh, we, we don't know yet. We're still probably a ways away from actually encountering the city itself, unfortunately. But the game is going fantastic. Holding back. We are just clearing out a goblin camp. Murder. There we go. That was seriously fun. Okay. Um, Defender of the people. I think it's Asterion that's got. Yeah, Asterion has Firebolt. Well, okay, the grease is gone. Can't give up now. Swift as my feet can carry me. With a little bit of luck, we might be able to make it to the Underdark today. Actually, I don't know how much luck it's going to take. We've still got a couple hours left in stream. And... Clearing this was the major impediment between us and the Underdark. I mean, that and we've got to actually open the way to the Underdark, I suppose, technically. Well, could you maybe go there? There we go. What's all this screeching? Dead adventurer. How are you doing today, Jim? What's going on? I hope you and everyone else, at that ma for that matter, are having a fantastic day. Now, are these people? They're still sleeping. That's hilarious. a lot of them. Five minute warning until we have our next break, guys. Oh, they all woke up. Interesting. Nice.
Okay, well. It's up to you now. Work from home day so you can't complain too much? Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, no, let's not do that. We're gonna do this. There we go. It comes easy these days. Oh, I did. <laughs> I meant for that to be a melee strike, but okay. Bonk. Rude. He's kind of out of um, healing potions, isn't he? This guy's doing a fair bit of damage. We need to get rid of him next. suggest you do the murder. What the? Excuse me? I don't think so, sir. That was just in time. We're going to have to take that break in a few seconds. But I can at least get the looting started. Alright guys. I will be back in a few minutes, so if you need to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack or something, this is just a regular length of break, three and a half to five minutes or so, but you've got a bit of time to get up and move around a little, so I'll meet you back here in just a few. Hold on, Moreland. I'll get you out. Just hey, as soon as I finish looting. Great gears, you're alive. Uh, would you mind applying a little leverage? Just give me half a second. Priorities first, sir. Just go around doing stuff and oops. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was good. Oh, that's the ISS Enterprise F, I believe. Or is that the F or the E? No, that's definitely Odyssey class.
Yes, I am Lokaius, your wolf god, and now you may take my oath. Abandon your humanity, my boy, and be blessed as wolfkind. It feels like coming home. Transformation? Or oaths? Don't be a flapping fool, Timon. Timon kneels and beneath him a green light pools. Dandelions rise yellow out of the sparse wind-scraped dirt. They grow old and white, throw their seeds, then wilt to nothing. The god rock he kneels upon hums. It cracks somewhere inside. A geode of understanding splits and catches light. Beneath the earth and behind his eyes. Timon! Are these clowns thinking they're doing? Oh my god, did I actually get one? Wow. What the hell? They really are like little head crabs. Oh. Wow. Okay. Maybe I'll get one more stamina bar before we try that again. <laughs> Did it. Okay. And I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. Well, Boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better. Why not Boomer both? With explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? Both. 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 Both is good. That could work. Okay, I am back. Thank you, Aranar. What were we doing? We were looting. Scroll of Greece. Now, out of curiosity, uh, we're getting there. 154 XP. Ugh. I can almost taste level 5. Let's have a look. Good to know that the NPCs in Forbidden West don't understand the concept of looting either. <laughs> All right, let's see. Spinning the handle turns a mechanism within this contraption, plinking out a simple tune. I think that needs to go to wares and to camp.
Travel through the Underdark. Unlock the secret entrance to the Underdark. Our room in the Old Temple of Saluna contains a secret entrance to the Underdark. Through it, we can reach Moonrise Towers. Okay, before we do that... We've used up all of our short rests. It might be time for another long rest. Let's see what this does. Oh, the dog's here. I'm very sorry. Will, if you wouldn't mind. A word, if I may. Hope you're keeping well, friend. I'm sorry about what happened to your master. Master? Friend. I stayed with him until... Until I knew he was gone. I'll never forget him, but I'm glad to have met you. Okay. Let's get going. Looks like nobody else needs to speak that we can see. Uh, Carlax here. Do we still have Helsin? Shadowheart is weirdly close to the center of things. Gale's here. There's Helsin. Something's on my mind. You wish to speak? Or not. Okay. Now, in theory, there should be nobody left in here. In practice... Oh, we forgot to loot somebody. What's hiding here? That music is very suspicious making. Devout Marak. I was negligent in my looting. God, I'm so close to the edge. I can barely pick up anything before I'm overloaded. Now, where is this location going to be? Room of the Waning Crescent. Oh, okay, so we want to go up here. That makes sense. That was the room that I made go all explodey. And it went explodey far more than I expected it would. But it was also the room that they really seemed to want to keep me out of. Oh, it's the rocky freaking crevice. <laughs> Not a chance I'll fit in there. But then, what? How? I 
Yeah, I guess after the blasting it took when I blew up all the barrels in here, one little firebolt is probably not going to make a huge difference. Nice and easy. Out of the way, guys. Okay, I don't like this. How is there nothing I can do here? That thing is small, and I am not. <laughs> wow, what a line delivery. Uh can I just attack it? I can attack it. Thing is small, and I am not. Um. Any advice here? Any suggestions? <laughs> yeah, I already set it on fire in a pretty big and explosive way. That didn't really help. Didn't say explode it, you said set it on fire. Well, Ignis. nope, no good. I tried that. for will in the way of weaponry. Actually, I can get rid of a bunch of this stuff too. Since we can't sell it at the moment. Okay, who do we have with decent strength? Will's got eight. I've got eight. She's got 13. He's got eight. Maybe Shadowheart should try the Hulk smash. Nope. Okay. How close was she? A concussive smash. Nope. With objects, you have to do a minimum damage. Yeah, I don't even know how much. I don't think I'll fit through there. Doesn't seem to be giving me much in the way of detail.
Hmm. Well. No one back home will ever believe this. How's about this then? Hope your soul is in good hands. At least ten. Oh, shoot, I just burned through all of my key points. <laughs> Whoops, how do I recover those? Resting? Great, okay. Uh, I mean, I could try coming back with a different character. Seems like this might be a job for Carlac. I should speak up. Yes? Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. I... Guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here while you do all the hard work. It sounds awful. Okay. Carlac, where are you? There you are. Oh, uh, they recharge in a short rest. That's not so bad. What's on your mind? Let's go, go, go. All right, Carlac. There is that possibility, too. can have her use Faithbreaker. I don't believe I can change size. Also, why does she have the ability to speak with animals? Oh, I wonder if that's maybe a feature of her armor. Maybe not. Huh. Fey life. Ever vigilant. I could go back to camp again, talk to Withers, and hire a small character as a hireling. Maybe a gnome or a halfling. Still alive, so that's progress. What's on your mind? 
Really? Really, really? Sorry. Just temporarily. Oh, fine. I'll be here eating dirt or whatever. I know, it's boring, but what can you do? Withers, where would you be? Where the heck is Withers? Hello? Mr. Withers? He's not up a level, is he? He does seem to like to keep some distance. Will, Asterian, Gale, Halson, Volo. Everyone's pretty easy to find except for Withers. Curse to put my hands on everything. Ah. There we go. Seems like a good moment to talk. Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? I'd like to talk about hirelings. Very well. Choose. Lightfoot Halfling. Lothsworn Drow. High Elf. Tiefling. Githyanki. Half Orc. High Half Elf. Dirgar. Rock Gnome. Okay, she looks like she's about the smallest. Let's multi-class her into a rogue. Pick pockets and locks and disarm traps. Okay, that's perfect. Fast hands, second story work. Okay. Thank you, Withers. Never a dull moment. Defiled Temple. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Didn't want to draw any attention. Never wanted the easy path.
Okay, where the heck are we? Like that dwarf's poem said. And these plates can be turned. Ah, we found the puzzle, did we? What I would really like to find is a way to open up a route for the rest of the party. Let's see. I'll take that. Something over there. Ah, lever, huh? I would rather not do too, too much until we get everybody back. Okay, there doesn't seem to be too much I can do around here. Let's explore the other end of the passageway. So we know that's where we're trying to get to. So maybe the passageway we're looking for is up here. Oh my god. What are you... Pull my bodyguard of the high... Pre oh, Jesus. Okay. Um... That strikes me as less than cool. I might be able to slip past her, though. I'm going to wait. She seems to be on a patrol route. So once she turns her back... here. Now, can we open this door again? Because... Okay. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Come on, guys.
Okay. I think that'll do it for her. is at thy disposal. Do what thou wilt. Art thou certain? Return this vessel to my camp. Thou art the master. So it shall be. Mootwitch, how's it going? It's good to see you. This game is fantastic. Brings back the good memories of D&D &D from back in the late 80s to early 90s, AD&D &D first and second edition. I actually think it's significantly better than AD&D. &D. It's all the goodness of 5th edition in a convenient and easy to play format. And I'm absolutely in love with it. I, I knew it was going to be good because of early access. I didn't know it was going to be this freaking good. What's up for discussion? Hey, what kind of build do you have going, Moo Twitch? How's your what's your character like? Let's go, go, go. Okay. Have a lot on my mind. And well. I enjoyed ES as well a few years back and forgot about it until Kimi mentioned it released. A wood elf ranger, very nice. I have a half elven paladin monk going. Lessons for sensible living. Let's get back further. Never wanted the easy path. Let's see what you're hiding. You've made a grave mistake. You've set foot in a restricted area. A swift exit, maybe. In nope. That's not happening. <laughs> nice. Good job, Carlac. I'm ready. And now, Will? How about a weakening strike? You're further along than I am, so I'm going to drop out so I don't spoil anything. No worries, Moo Twitch. It was good to see you. Have a fantastic rest of your day. <laughs> Oof. Oh, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Ready. 
backbreaker. Yeah. This is my time. Oof. Must take a short rest. Okay. Main hand attack. Karlak, it's go time. Whoops, a daisy. Um Ah, oh, crap. I was trying to revive her before we killed her. That's annoying. Supply pack with 40 camp supplies. Well, on the positive side, that's a very good excuse to take a short rest. Here I go. My faith will guide me. Take you. Okay. All right. What now? That is an excellent question. What's hiding? Now we loot the place. Pad padlock key. Rotten fish. A is for Zeth and other gods, 11. Recipe of elixir of arcane cultivation. I'll give it a shot. Basic poison. Selenite journal. If it's a journal, we should probably read it. Can't reach. Gilded chest. Amulet of Misty Step. Ooh. Can't afford to stay idle. She's got the ever seeing eye. I think that might actually be more useful, though. Scroll of burning hands and more basic poison. They're really into their poisoning. Hmm. 
amethyst ring and some more gold. Excellent. Acid arrow. Soul coins, a treatise. That sounds useful, actually. The True and Impossible Adventures of Tenebra Moro, Volume 3 and 4. Disorders of the Nerves and Mind, a treatise. Soul coins, a treatise, the annals of Baldur Gate, Baldur's Gate. Old person and more basic poison. Oh, what? What? Are we just accidentally clipping? What's the deal here? That's funny. Cracked stones, huh? I wonder who or what those chains are for. Okay, that looks like that's about it. So I guess we are now clear. Okay, so it's reasonably well lit. What did the note say again? A son of Saluna fell here in the dark below, and we sealed his grave in her holy glow. May the moon never touch the stars once more. May darkness never conquer the moon maiden's door. May the full moon never touch the stars. So we have to have this completely dark, I assume. Uh, 
Ah, okay. Hang on a second here. Right. Watch where you're standing there. This goes very far down. We'll have to go in to see the bottom. Uh, I got an achievement for that too. I completed ten background adventure things in one playthrough. And now we get to level up Purity and Shadow Heart by the looks of it. Level 5. Class features. Additional key point. Slow fall. When you fall, you can use your reaction to gain resistance to falling damage. And a new feat available. Oh, but I was... Oh, do I do... Do I do the monk level and gain the feat? I would kind of like to gain the feat. My other option, I was going to start leveling up Paladin so that I can start getting my uh, channel divinity. No, I think we've got to do it. We're going to do Paladin. Adopt a particular style of fighting as your specialty. Plus one bonus to armor class while wearing armor. While you're wielding a melee weapon that is not two-handed or versatile, that's not going to work. No, we got to go defense. That's going to work best with our monkish ways. Spells. Command. Compel duel. Cure wounds. Wrathful smite. I don't think I want that one. I wouldn't mind having bless, though. Shadow Heart, level five, here we come. Level three spell slots unlocked. Destroy undead. Bestow curse and fear. That looks good. Okay, now we don't need that anymore, and we're going to send all of these books and notes to camp. Oh, I don't need this shield either. That can also go to camp. Okay. Now there was that... L oh, we missed a silver plate. Was there not a lever? 
She had to make a perception check to see it, I believe. Ah, it's still marked. Okay. Let's see what this does. Oh. Didn't mind my step. Did you look at that? Let's save the game here. Silly Night Outpost. We did it, guys. We made it. We discovered the Underdark. And we're going to be taking our final break of the night in about five minutes. Um... Rescue Halson, find the Night Song. We solved a puzzle in the Goblin Camp, revealing a secret passage that leads underground. Daughter of Darkness, our fiery friend. Blade of Frontiers, Pale Elf, Wizard of Waterdeep. Rescue Volo. I thought... Oh, it would be there. The Underdark is a twisted labyrinth of tunnels and ruins. To find the path to Moonrise Towers, we'll need to explore. Is there anything in there? Oh, there is. Okay, we have to get that open. With a flick of the wrist. DC 20. Oh, God. <laughs> Thieves tools. I gave a bunch to Asterian. Never mind. Maybe we'll come back. Tried to play along with a bard and critical failed the performance check to learn to play the loot. She let me try again with an easier check. You critical failed that one too. Oh no. That's rough. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's been a while since I've been down here. I don't remember what was going on, but I remember something was going on. I do note that we've got a uh, fast travel point, though, which is really good, because we've still got stuff in the upper world that we have to do. We have not gone and challenged the spiders yet, for example. Not that I'm really looking forward to that, but I am looking forward to them being dead. And now that half my party is level 5, I'm fairly certain we can end deaden them pretty effectively. Might be useful. Blacksmith's Bellows. Hey, we know somebody who might be interested in this.
Underdark, Southern Night Outpost. I don't think I need another torch. Scroll of Ray of Sickness. Okay, guys. Oh! We can level up Karlak and Will now as well, but we're going to have to do that after I get back from break. So if you guys need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack or something, now's a real good time to do it. I'll meet you back here in a few. Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Ah. Uh. That doesn't look scary at all. I expect there's going to be zero problems with this. This is fine. This is going to be totally okay. Surely this can't be a good idea. No kidding. I'm right behind you. Say, did you promise to do anything for me? I am sworn to carry your burdens. That's what I thought. Would you please stand still while I murder you? Gotcha. Damn it, another one. I don't know about you. Myself, I'm not expecting this to all be over until about 18 months from now. Maybe 17 now. Okay, well, let's go deal with this guy over here first. Hello. Nope. Thank you. Nope. Oh, damn you. Rude. Excuse me. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Thank you. Probably shouldn't loot the bodies right away. At first, <laughs> you'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way. Assuming you're as much a hunter-gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Smildaf. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't <laughs> let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. Helping the chef is the greatest of causes. It's true. It's true. Now watch the disc. Now watch the... No, watch... No. Uh, uh, 
Okay. Clearly there were some areas they had... there are some areas they have not invested a lot of work in improving. Ten four. Okay, I'm back. All right. We looted those. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Erinlar. Right, there's a puzzle to unlock this, isn't there? Oh. Get back. <laughs> um makes whatever's ahead even more intriguing. Okay then. Interesting. Uh, there it is, the Underdark, which is apparently quite a bit larger than I expected it to be. I thought this kind of general area was all of the Underdark they had, but then I went and uh, I don't really know the details to any great extent, but I know that people have spent multiple streams like many hours, 12 to 15 hours or so, just in the Underdark and the areas of the Underdark beyond this part of it. So what is this guy? Mil Minotaur, interesting. Looks empty. Tattered notes. This place is dark, but the lady's light shines yet. Just as the drow had almost broken through, Jarus rallied the last of the initiates and charged forth. For a moment, the cavern shone with Salune's own brilliance. I'd, glad, I'd have gladly gone with them, well, wound or no, but Jarus bade me stay and hold the gate until his return. I am to keep the records, too. I'll save space to write of his victory. It's been days, hours, since we collapsed the tunnel. They were supposed to return after the battle. I cannot dig it out on my own. My eyes won't get used to this darkness, but I can hear them stripping the dead. I'm sorry. I haven't learned the death rites yet, but I will hold the gate. I promise. This final entry is barely visible. More faint scratches than legible writing. Sorry. Cellar Night Key this pure silver key was found on the corpse of a worshipper of Salune. Okay. 
Medium toughness, 42. Only a hit that deals at least 22 damage can damage it. Okay. Oh, right. I forgot. No, I'm going to keep with Bestial Heart Bear. Legacy of Avernus Branding Smite. <sighs> Class Features. Deepened Pact. Pleased with your service, your otherworldly patron added new boons to the terms of your pact. Blade pact holders gain an extra attack with their uh, pact weapon. The Pact of the Chains Familiar also gains an extra attack. Pact of the Tome Warlocks can cast Animate Dead, Haste, and Call Lightning once per long rest. Gained a spell. Counter spell. I don't even have to look any for... Oh, wait a minute, though. Mm. It's got to be Fireball. You can cast Slow with a Warlock spell slot. You can cast Bestow Cor Curse with a Warlock spell slot. When you cast Eldritch Blast, add your Charisma modifier to the damage it deals unless it is negative. You finally started Act 2? Congratulations, Ansara. I just got to level 5. You invoke your patron's bewitching charm. You gain proficiency in deception and persuasion. You can see normally in darkness, both magical and non-magical, to a distance of 24 meters. You can cast Disguise Self at will without expending a spell slot. You learn how to cast one with shadows. When you hit a creature with Eldritch Blast, you can push the creature up to 4.5 meters away from you. You took Repelling Blast. It's fun for throwing people off of cliffs from far away. I was just thinking that as I read the description. Okay, let's save the game here. We're going to have to explore alternate realities until we get this gate open. Oh, or maybe we just have the key. Looks empty. Uh-huh. DC 15. I think that'll do. Helmet of Smiting. Bolstering Smite. When you apply a condition with one of your Smite spells, you gain temporary hit points equal to your Charisma modifier. A set of runes have been expertly worked into the helmet's filigree, almost imperceptible but powerful nonetheless. Uh 
Aha. That's the chest I got by stacking ice cubes below the ledge, climbing up, and then jumping over the rail. Oh my god. That's kind of amazing. Okay. Good to know. DC 15 again. That'll do. Should do, yes. Holy water. What, the wall? Isn't there? Yeah, Iron Torch. Okay. I just like to make sure I haven't missed anything. I probably have. I don't remember how you actually get out of here. That's a reasonably great sword. Okay, what do we do here? I think one thing I've got to do is get rid of some more stuff.
Well, when I say getting rid of stuff, I mean send it back to camp so it can be dealt with later. Obviously, I'm not getting rid of it. We don't get rid of things. Unless we're selling it to get other things. Uh, oh. Moonstone. Though ancient and cracked, a powerful divine energy laps from this gem in waves, singeing everything in its path. Ah, lover. Oh. Why did, but wasn't there like a big puzzle here? Open up. I could swear there used to be a puzzle that you needed to complete to get out of here. Or is it just to get out of here and not get murdered by the beams? Let's maybe quick save before we attempt this. Maxed out my inventory slots in Horizon, Horizon Zero Dawn and have already run out of space? Yep. It's indeed one of those games. Never wanted the easy part. Right. Getting out is easy. Surviving the trip, that's the other difficult part. Okay, so we've confirmed we do indeed need to complete some sort of a puzzle. And we've only got about 20 minutes to do it, because then I have, to, uh, I have to raid us out of here and go visit somebody else. And it's going to be painful. I'm going to really want to stream this again tonight because now I'm so invested. But I really need some time to work on some of our clip stuff. So let's maybe not go out there just yet. We're going to close the gate again. Excuse me. Can you just... There you go. There we are, just so nobody accidentally runs out and gets murdered. <coughs> ah, heavy crossbow. You think? Actually, we're going to give the heavy crossbow to Karlak. We can't give her this fancy, magical heavy crossbow. Come on, let's go. But we can at least give her a better crossbow than the light one she's using now. Right. 
faded logbook. I didn't notice that one. Here goes. Most of this small logbook is left empty. The last entry reads Log 182. I was wrong. I should have paid more attention to the drow sightings. Should have known they were only a prelude. Stupid to think we had outsmarted them. This will be my last entry. Minth will keep the records from now on. Okay. Uh, how the heck do we get this defensive system turned off? Well, we've leveled up the entire party. I guess the other option is we could set ourselves up to go and take on the spiders because they're always so much fun. There is too much danger. If I start exploring the Underdark in earnest right now, it becomes quite a bit less likely that I'm actually going to come back and do the rest of this stuff that I do need to do. Come on. Come on. There you go. No one stopped me yet. Lovely. The webs are everywhere. Whispering depths. Old backpack. Maybe I need more pockets. Yes, you do. Icarus Egg Clutch. Ooh. That's kind of gross. Will? Would you... Oh, actually, you can't. Uh... I guess we don't have anyone that can burn them with fire, huh? Yuck. Don't waste a step. Oh, oh. Thirty three hit points. Okay. Extra attack.
Lovely. Oh, um, Will, would you kindly like to join us, please? Oh, difficult terrain web, okay. In that case, that's fine. What the hell was that? For another round. <laughs> Ethereal jaunt. I like the doubled attack she gets. That's very cool. Ooh. I am starting to get a little bit hurt though. save that for a good grouping. Satisfying. Very satisfying. we have here Okay. Gotcha. 
shove off, kill a creature with falling damage. Another achievement. Faith will protect me. You're right. That was a really good get. I like that feat. Not enough movement. Okay. Um, in that case, why don't we do cure wounds on Karlak? That was a lot easier than I expected it to be. No, I also don't really expect that we're completely finished yet. Silk gland. I guess being level 5 does give you quite the advantage. Because I remember that being murderously difficult. You're a level or two higher than the more common levels for this fight? Yeah, that is true. Which is exactly why I waited until now. Oh, I didn't forget. I just want to save it for a really appropriate moment, like when I've got three or four or five people all in the target range. I didn't want to waste it on just one. Two attacks per round for fighter types? Yeah. It's really only the uh, Barbarian that gets that at the moment. Because technically, even though my character is a fighter type, she's only level 2 as a Paladin and level 3 as a Monk. True, true. Magic of the Weave, Soul Coins, a treatise, Disorders of the Nerves and Mind, a treatise. Spider Step Boots, immune to being in webbed. Your movement speed is not affected by web surfaces. That seems especially nice right in this particular area. What have I got right now? Spring step? I think we're going to use the uh, spider step while we're in here. Web covered journal. A journal filled with hastily sketched diagrams of spiders and various spell runes. The captions are largely written in code, save for a few passages near the end that are penned in shaky common. They can sense my devotion. It draws them. I hear them in the shadows, whispers from the Dark Mother. I awoke to a gift wrapped in spider silk, a pair of boots taken from a heretic's corpse. Loth sends her daughters to reward my faith to let me know I am on the right path. Another gift. The corpse of a drow, sigil scarred upon his face. And an arachnomancer, one with the power to inhabit the spider's form. It is a message, a calling. My blood already dries upon the dagger, her blessed image carved into my skin. Ritual Diagram 
An ornate diagram is drawn upon this parchment depicting a ritual of some kind. At the bottom, two figures, a spider and an elf, are sketched within overlapping circles. A single word is penned beneath them. Transcendence. Scroll of Web, Scroll of Thunderweave, Tasha's Hideous Laughter, and Speak with Dead. Bloody Journal. Seems simple enough. Though originally a screed on Loth penned in blood, this book's crimson script has been smeared away in several places, a different hand writing atop it. I recall my life upon the surface with more than regret. I weep for the decades spent trending the murky waters of profanity while my true queen waited in the shadows. Even my name, Eliette, feels foreign and foul upon my tongue. A high elf exalted by Loth herself, my drow captors cannot fathom it. But I see their house's downfall in visions granted by the Spider Queen herself. When that day comes, when some unnamed whelp from an insignificant house cuts the matron mother's throat, I will escape. I will find solitude, and I will worship Loth with my very soul. Okay. So, fairly creepy. And perfectly timed. This looks like a pretty good point at which we can... Oh, we've got a couple things to loot. And then we can go raid. So let's save here properly. There we go. Alright folks, we are going to play the heck out of this again tomorrow. And I am still thinking we're going to do a bonus stream probably tomorrow night. Not tonight, because I've got some clip stuff I need to get done. Uh, much as I would love to stream again tonight. But we will stream again tomorrow night. But I'm kind of thinking we might do some Tears of the Kingdom tomorrow night. We'll do Baldur's Gate during the day, though. Now, of course, that is dependent on my being able to resist the siren song of Baldur's Gate, so we'll have to see. Let's see if we can find another Baldurian streaming today. Um, fair number of people playing, but not really people I know so far. Domestic Dan is playing Baldur's Gate. Not sure we've ever raided him. Katie Peters Plays is playing Baldur's Gate. And I do believe that this, it looks like she's still in character creation, so I think she might be just starting. Ash Monster's on playing Baldur's Gate, but she's in Act 2. I don't know if I want to go there. I would have to raid and dip out, which honestly might not be the worst problem because I have to go make dinner in a few minutes anyway. But I think we're going to go visit Katie. Let's see how her adventure begins. Let me just load up her channel here. Oh, it looks like she's making a uh, character that looks like herself, actually. That's kind of cool. All right, guys. We're going to go raid Katie Peters Plays. That is her link. And I will be back tomorrow. Thank you all so much for making this stream really, really chill and really, really fun. It's been a blast. We made some awesome progress. I'm really happy with how things have turned out. Let's get over to Katie's channel and see what's going on with her first playthrough. Uh, I don't know how far she is in character creation yet. Kind of looks like she's chosen 
the overall look and is still doing like body art and stuff like that. Also looks like she's away from her keyboard, so she might be on a break. Thank you, Hammer. Thank you for being here. Thank you, everyone, for being here. I could not do this without you folks. So here's the raid call. Here at the Library of Lore, we use shh. It's a library raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote, the wave emote, and the shh emote of the channel. If you are a sub, if you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch raid and the tomb raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own or maybe from another streamer or from Twitch themselves, feel free to copy those emotes. Arrange the... Uh, uh, copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good at my book. And it looks like Katie's just gotten back, so we're really well-timed here. So we'll get over to her channel, see what's going on with her playthrough, how she's getting settled in for the journey, and I will be back tomorrow. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world, and I'll catch you again real soon. Bye for now.